Hey everyone, this is Tapan Sharma here and in this video I want to show you my first open source Laravel project. So this project is called Breathe Svelte and as the name suggests, um, this is the Svelte version of the official Breeze package. So while I was uh, researching about the Inertia and Svelte stack, I couldn't find a proper package or implementation for this felt version of breeze so that's why i created this package and in this video i want to show you give you an overview about this package so let's look at the documentation so here we have the installation part and i i have also included some screenshots so let's first create a new laravel project and i'm gonna name it breeze felt okay this sounds good Okay, so I already have this in my desktop. So I think I'll just call it test since this is a demo project. So while this is installing, what else can we do? Okay, we can check out the documentation. And so we have the installation command. And after that, just like with the official versions, we can pass in this felt flag or we can use the interactive command to install our stack so we will look into that as well okay seems like the package has been installed so let's move into cd into that project and i'll just open that in my code editor and while this is opening i also want to spin up a new server for this so that's done and okay we have our vs code opened up let me just zoom in a bit and first up i want to define some credentials in the env so i already have defined a database called new i already have uh, created the database and also migrated the database and created a user so that we can test it out quickly and this is the only thing that i want to change in here so this is done and let's go ahead and now install the package so the command for this is so let me zoom in a bit the command for this is composer require the pancharma breeds spelt okay let's hit enter and i'll be right back once this finishes installing okay the package has been installed and the next step that i want to do here is i want to run artisan breeze install and we'll use the interactive command to install our stack so as you can see we have a next option called svelte so i'll just uh, choose the number four for svelte would you like to install dark mode okay let's install it would you prefer best tests yep and now this is going to install everything and set everything up so i'll be right back once this finishes installing okay all the installations have been completed successfully and it's finally time to test it out and by the way while installing you will get some uh, accessibility related warnings so these are just uh, uh, simple spelt warnings uh, which uh, won't cause any issues uh, and i might fix them in the future so yeah that's that and let's go ahead and test it out so we already have our servers running so i'm gonna open up a new tab and let's test it out okay so this is the home page uh, which you'll see uh, so this is the typ typical uh, welcome page that you'll see on every laravel project so we have login and registers so let's click on login and since i already have a user with this uh, email and password so i'll just click on login and okay this is the dashboard the typical dashboard uh, of breeze and i have implemented the profile and logger feature as well which is available in the official breeze version and okay these are the features available here and okay i also have implemented the models and along with that i have implemented some simple spelled transitions as well yeah that's it uh, and everything else i think uh, the uh, email verification the forgot password reset password and all the other stuff is working so go ahead and give it a try test it out and let me know what you think about this uh, and i hope that this will be helpful to you as well and by the way, I wanted to ask you uh, ask you all one more thing. Uh, I do have some content planned around uh, the Svelte and Inertia stack. I did a bit of uh, research about the Silt stack on Google and YouTube and didn't find much content around it. So I'm thinking of creating some content around the Svelte and Inertia stack. So 
let me know what you think about it uh, should i work on them should i create some content around the stack so really want to hear your opinions about this so yeah that's it for this part and i'll see you guys in the next one